Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. God bless. Hey, babe. Pod that we love. Share, subscribe her, and like her. Through the night with the light from above. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. How, How you, you doing? doing? I'm doing good. Happy 4th. Happy 4th of July. For me, nothing says 4th of July like a Vancouver Grizzlies sweatshirt. That's right. That's what it is. That is a, what is that, a teal? That's a teal. You look what good do you think of that? I, you know what? Teal, no matter who you are, it stops you in your tracks. You think so? Because teal is so such a, such a bold choice. Why don't we go teal for our team colors then? Why don't we, why don't we do teal? Who's teal in the... Who's, I mean, well, the Grizzlies. Well, and who else is teal? They said the Tampa... No, the Tampa Bay... No, the Rays aren't. The Tampa the Bay Bucks. Shout out to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Well, yeah, got it. You Not got Teal, yeah, but I just yeah. want to shout them out. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. Congrats, Tom Brady. Uh, he pulled Pat- it off. It was it was insane. Insanity. Patrick Mahomes, of course. You can't say enough about that Kansas kid. City Chiefs. God bless um, him. God bless. Yeah. Let me ask you a question now. Sure. I mean, a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear, It's. I think it's probably the best mascot ever. Who's beating a grizzly? Who's beating a raptor? The Toronto oh, Raptors. Oh, we're talking about fierceness and and alphaness. Yeah, like I think a raptor beats a grizzly probably. Right. It's interesting the Canadian sports teams because you got the Vancouver Grizzlies, which are not a team anymore. Then the Toronto Raptors, and then, and then you have you the Toronto the Blue, Blue Jays, Jays yeah. which is a real drop off. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's a real drop yeah, off. Blue Jay people watch them in silence through binocs. Yeah. It's not threatening at all. Not threatening like you're going at all. to a game in silence just watching the players through binoculars. A grizzly and a raptor, though. Forget yeah. about it. You ever go bird watching? Never been bird watching <laughs> in my life. Uh, has it ever piqued your interest? Have you ever even thought of it? Do you understand why people do it? I went to the zoo once and went to the bird sanctuary and couldn't believe that I paid to stand. Real drag. Real, I mean, it was, even my daughter was just like, Dad, <laughs> let's get to the, I mean, let's see the penguins. Let's see the gorillas. Well, penguin is like a bird watch. Is a penguin a bird? Penguin no way, a penguin weird. can't be a bird. Penguin is a bird, dude. Isn't a penguin a bird? Penguins not foul? Let me ask you this question. Yeah. I Penguins give you the opp- are fish? Penguins are fish, mammals, or amphibians because they live in water or on land or both. Penguins are birds. Which one is it? Can are you they be fish, a fish or birds? I don't understand. <laughs> no, but I don't think... What did you click on here? Is this some... Uh, some he said, is penguin jan- a bird? That's what... Jan- janky. Penguins are birds even though they spend... I think they just identify as what they feel. How about this? You ready for this? You ready for this, babe? I don't know if I am. Penguins native to Antarctica. I'm going to get to it. Penguins uh, are native to Antarctica. I have a wild... I, I need to talk to you about Antarctica and what I've discovered. I was watching docs on Antarctica all night last night. But real quick before I do that, if I gave you the opportunity, you have to eat one. Would you eat a, would you eat a penguin sandwich or a panda sandwich? Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You have to eat one. Uh, what is it like an exotic uh, buffet? It's, an, it's, a, it's exotic buffet night at TGI I, Fridays. I was, <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Well, I will say like penguin. If it is a bird, poultry. I'm kind of in that. I've been in that family already. I've tasted chicken and okay and and that kind of stuff. So I I guess a penguin. Now the penguin community don't come after me. Right. You know, I, I'm put yeah. in front of me an option that I have to choose one. Last thing you need is Danny DeVito coming after yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> panda meat, I don't know. Panda meat's got to be... You People probably have had panda think, meat too, right? I think people have eaten panda... I think I want to say pan, humans apparently ate panda in prehistoric times. Oh, I thought you... You said panda, and the whole time in my head I was thinking panther. <laughs> panther meat. Panther. Yeah. No, I'm talking about panda. Oh, I wouldn't um, want to eat panda meat. I would chow, I would sop that penguin up with a biscuit. Prehistoric. <laughs> Contemporary Chinese have little taste for the animal. Panda banquets are unheard of. They're certainly too precious to eat, but their flavor might also have kept them off the dinner table. Oh, they don't taste good. They don't taste good. Humans I thought a panda would taste good, to be honest. It looks like it might. What about Hello Panda, the uh, the chocolate cookies? You ever have those? Absolutely not. Never even heard of them. Yeah, dude. They- I thought Hello Panda was like an uh, Asian fast food. No, Hello Panda cookie. Panda Express? The Asians are big with the hellos. Hello Panda, Hello Kitty. Yeah, Panda Express. They're happy people. Pan- Hello Panda is Hello Kitty meets Panda Express. That's what it is. It really is. How about Hello Panda Express? Panda Express. 
that serves the, the cookies. All right, go to chrisdcomedy.com for stand-up tickets. I'm coming all over. I got Providence, Rhode Island, Eatontown, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Nashville, Tennessee, and the Fox Theater at Foxwoods, Connecticut, Newark, New Jersey, Seattle, Portland, chrisdcomedy.com. More shows coming. I'm bringing TT if she's allowed to leave the state. You know that Hello Kitty, I think, is like one of the most like profitable companies of all time. Sanyo, I think it's called. I would say, imagine. Sanrio. I would imagine. That guy, yeah. I mean, that thing, think about this. Whenever that came out, it's still as prominent and relevant today, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, Kids yeah. walk around with the backpacks. and the, According to the legend, Hello Kitty was created back in the 70s by a Chinese woman. Apparently, her 14-year-old daughter was diagnosed with cancer of the mouth. Jesus. The doctors told the mother that her child was terminally ill and there was nothing they could do for her. What kind of article is that? Well, did she make it? Well, I mean, what is did it? Did the kid what, make that's it? That's the article? Who, oh did she make it? I also heard Hello Kitty is uh, not to get like, a, like a, but I heard she. I think she's not even a female. She's a cat. She's a cat. Oh, as a young female, a Japanese bobtail cat. I heard someone say that she's neither male nor female, or they that she's a she's cat. fluid. They, they, she's a cat. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> like they won't assign. Here that's we go. I heard. Why is Hello Kitty not a cat? Hello Kitty's uh, uh Oh that's it She's not a cat She's a girl That's it She's a cartoon character She is a little girl though This article yes, is saying that's what it was That's what it's like She's not a cat But she's a cat But she To me it's like I would say Hello Kitty's a cat But if my daughter asked me Is Hello Kitty a boy or a girl I'd say it's a girl Yes I'd say it's a true. little girl cat As I would too Yes Yeah Some stories go Hello Kitty was designed with no mouth Because the daughter had Had mouth cancer Kitty's pointed ears Represent Satan's horns Kitty in Chinese means demon. Oh god! So Hello Kitty is Hello Demon. So do you think the Asians are just like look at the that. like? Do you think that's just all on purpose? I think that's a QAnon theory. I don't that's know. <laughs> Speaking of QAnon, let me talk to you about Antarctica. Let me talk to you about Antarctica. Before I talk about it, though, I just want to shout out ChristyComedy.com. I got stand-up dates coming up all over. We might put a show up on sale in Antarctica after I tell you the story because I got to go there. But we do have uh, the the Fox Theater October twenty third um, in Connecticut. We've added a show. Please go get those tickets. Uh, Eaton Town, New Jersey, almost. <laughs> Sold out. Lovely town. We just opened up tickets for this. Listen to this. July 22nd, 24th, Providence, Rhode Island. It was sold out forever, but now they opened up tickets. Thank you, the governor of uh, Rhode Island, whoever that guy is. I'm sure he's an Irishman. So we got we got added ticket sales there. And then we got Nashville, Newark, New Jersey, Seattle, Portland, ChrisDComedy.com. So check it out. Nice, babe. You're all over the road now. I'm, I'm back on the road. We're I'm back sorry. out there. And, 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 uh, and yeah. So let me tell you about something. Antarctica. I Antarctica. know nothing about it. Okay. Well, how about this? Did you know? Did you know that it's speculated that German, uh, the Nazis during World War II were using it as a base, as a as a as a as like an underground base to um do base. testing to do testing with uh ancient alien warcrafts and alien um civilizations. They believe people believe ancient alien civilizations live on Antarctica. And the reason why there's a treaty right now, you cannot, there's a national treaty right now amongst all the nations of the I world. Love a good treaty. Uh, love a good treaty. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, 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 a treaty out right now that says nobody can do anything on Antarctica. No countries are allowed to do anything. No, no, the only. Who made that treaty? I don't, Google the Antarctica Who treaties? treaty. Who makes treaties? The government? I would say the government. They still do treaties? They still do treaties. Is treaties an old thing? No. Like right now, I don't remember the last time I saw like one of our current day politicians be like, I'm going to do a treaty. They just did the, well, the, like the green peace deal, the new green deal. That's Was all, that a treaty? It's a treaty, but they're calling it a deal now. Maybe, maybe what the- up, I like the name uh, treaty. I like treaty. It sounds like, it sounds like it's, it's a treat, you know, like it, they got cute with it. Yeah. Like how are we going to get people, how are we going to pass this? Let's go. How are we going to pass this bill? Call it a treaty. Call it a treaty. Give him a little treaty. Yeah. A little treaty. We got a little side. treaty for you. We know you're going to want to sign it. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to sign the treaty? <laughs> <laughs> so, but Google Antarctica Treaty. So I want to make sure I, I the Antarctica Treaty was signed uh, December 1st, 1959 by the 12 countries whose scientists had been active in and around Antarctica, which by the way, I've called it my whole life Antarctica. It's Antarctica. I'd be like, oh, Antarctica. I noticed today since you arrived here and we were downstairs, when you said Antarctica earlier, you said yeah. it like that. And I was like, oh, that's very... Because when I'm watching the documentary, I said, what a fool I've been. Antarctic. I've been saying Antarctica. So have I. I've been so saying is Antarctica. Everyone. So is everyone. But it's Antarctica. Because the last Antarctica. thing I want to do is be disrespectful. On 4th of July, I'm not going to disrespect Antarctica. 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 Okay. Antarctica. Um, Antarctica. 
the Antarctic yeah, Treaty. Yeah. It's basically um, military activity is banned as is prospecting for minerals. And a lot of people believe that the reason why it's banned is because the countries of the world, you know, this treaty, there's ancient civilization that used to live there. People think the, the lost city of Atlantis used to be there. People think it was for sure as near as 12,000 years ago, not covered in ice and a full civilization lived there. And then the poles changed. The North Pole became the South Pole and they did a switcheroo and then it got covered in ice like almost immediately. The old pole switcheroo. Uh, the old pole switcheroo, which allegedly is the thing that happens. The, the poles just switch and that um, um, Victor Schauenberg, who was a Nazi scientist, was then taken in this thing called called Operation Paperclip by the United States. The, the United States took all the German Nazi scientists that were making all the technology stuff. This guy, Schauenberger, they took him, it, the U.S. took him, and they put him on Antarctica, and he was making, he's making all like the UFO sightings that we're having today are really reverse engineering aircrafts from this Antarctic time in World War II. We've had the technology for 70 years. It's all just been locked away in Antarctica, and now they've escaped from Antarctica and are flying over regions of Southern California and then Nevada. This has been Hey Babe. (laughs) (laughs) What if we did that? We put out an eight minute episode. We got you! We got you, sons of bitches! (laughs) Oh, how we laughed! Yeah. Oh, how we just laughed. Laughed, had a good time. You thought it was over. You thought it was over. Oh, and there's pyramids on Antarctica. Scientists think there's pyramids. They think the ancient, not the Egyptians, another alien civilization built the pyramids on Antarctica. I was watching this stuff all night. It's so much more than penguins. Can I ask you a question about Antarctica? Yes. Yes. This might sound a little green. Yes. Uh, Like my shirt. Yes. A little deal. Um, Do people go to Antarctica? Yes. Is there there a a residential... can a big I fly hot, there and then go to the town square? A or big no? hot topic right now is should tourism be allowed in Antarctica? And the answer right now is yes. So if we're going to go to Antarctica, we have a window, but it's small. Here's what we got to do. We got to fly to Chile. We fly. You fly to Chile, and then you fly to the most southern part of Chile, a town. I think it's called Uzuku or something like that. And then you take a boat 600 miles. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you know this? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's so you, you give me specific instructions. I am in on Antarctica. <laughs> You're in Antarctica. I'm in, I'm in Antarctica. Okay. Yes. okay, so you go to Chile. You, you take a boat. You fly to Chile. Isn't and then, it fun to say Chile? Chile. Because people say Chile. 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 Chile is a hundred times better no, no, no. than Chile. Chile, Chile is yeah. where I go to go to Antarctica. Yeah. Chile's is where I go if somebody graduates yes. in my family. Yeah, baby backs. Yeah. yeah. Is so, it, somebody oh, what? Where somebody from graduates in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I go oh, to shit. Chile. I got uh, lightheaded again. Antarctic hotels range from luxury lodges to comfortable campsites. Oh, so you can go to Antarctica? Let me ask you a question. Are we going to Antarctica for the Patreon? Yeah or nay? <laughs> yes. It's yes. Going to be on the Patreon. Put it on the list. If it's on the list, it happens. <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should go there for like a week and just film like a hundred hours well, here of Antarctica go. content. Here's the cheap. Here's the cheap tricks to get to Antarctica. Nine day cruise may not hit all the destinations in Antarctica, which you really want to see, but it will be cheaper than the twenty three day long haul. Depending on the size of the boats, can accommodate eighty to uh, eighty to five hundred peeps at a time. So you can twenty three days to get there. If you are a f- listener of ours from Antarctica, please make yourself known. Yes. right now in the please. comments, we will contact you next episode so yeah. we can ask you questions directly. <laughs> yes, on Antarctica has eleven no children. Residents. Yes. <laughs> 11 kids have been born in Antarctica <laughs> because you got to understand Argentina and Chile are so close to the equator those southern parts it's not it's a hop skip and a jump to Antarctica for them wait what do you mean Antarctica is, like a, isn't Antarctica at the at the at the southern listen with the north pole do you believe the earth wait, is, Antarctica is down down well, well it's, south. Do, you believe, do you believe the earth is round or flat what oh, flat Flat. Okay. Yeah. So if you believe it's flat, then it's an ice shield that no. it's an ice wall that goes all the way around the country like a box. If you believe it's flat, if you that's if you believe it's flat. If you believe it's round, then it would be at the southern, at the south pole, right. the southernmost. So, so there yeah. are no permanent residents there. What does that? What does that scientists mean? Scientists are there. Scientists. What does that mean? Yeah. So nobody. So it's just scientists and like they live in a townhouse that they built for them, and there's no one else there. Nobody else there. But how I did, could that be? You can't just be on a continent yourself. No, but but it's because it's all for science. McDonald's tried to put in a bid to build a McDonald's on Antarctica, but it got shot down. I mean, how can, how is that a profitable business model? There's <laughs> nobody know. there. They, You're well, going to build the a McDonald's just for the 10 scientists? 
Well, the scientists allegedly they. Oh, you know what else you could do? You can go on this ship, on this ship to the because because they take you to the northernmost part of Antarctica. You know, even though it's in the south, it's the northernmost tip. It's like a little archipelago. Yeah. Of um. Ar- 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 what you Is say? Is it archipelago? Arch archipelago. Archipelago. Okay. Archipelago. Ar- Ar- archipelago. I think it's archipelago. I think it's arch. You want to hit me with a new tab? Want to hit me with that pronunciation? Yeah, let's. Is it A R? First of all, let's see if Pimp can spell it. I think it's archipelago. Archipelago. Let's hear it. Hit the sound. Smash that. Archipelago. What do we say? Did I say archipelago? Did I say archipelago? I don't know what I said anymore. I just wanted to make it sound. I wanted to make it sound a little bit. I wanted to spruce it up a little bit. So I said archipelago. I tell you right now, McDonald's goes there. The golden arch- archipelagos. That's the sandwich. I mean, just call us. So call what us. you can I do is ideas. when you get there, when you get to Antarctica, yeah, and uh, to the northern part of the archipelago, arc is it archipelago? What was what it again? What do you say again? Archipelago. Archipelago. Arch- so it's not arch. It's ar- yeah. It's archipelago. So when you get to okay. the archipelago, yeah, you can <laughs> <laughs> you can jump off the boat into the water and dip in the Arctic Ocean. You could be one of the only people that takes a dip and then they get you right out. Now you are risking getting eaten by a humpback whale immediately. Yeah, but if you dip in Post-taste. and dip out, you get out. Uh, there is a, a national airport there. No, it's just got to be like a little bit no. of a, like, a, like a little runway. Well, here right? we go. Let me just some quick fun facts. They Commonly spoken language of Antarctica is Russian, which happens to be the official language of the Belenganzuiza uh, and Oginia. English is also one of the most widespread languages spoken. You can find English spoken in the Balaney Islands, New South Greenland, Edwarda. So the official language is Russian and American. Give me an Antarctic, 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 Antarctica population. Can I take a guess quick? Please. I watched that convention. What are we here for? I, but I swear to God, they never, ever, ever said it but i'm gonna guess their population under is ten thousand. i was gonna say 800 <laughs> yeah what is population of antarctica there we go Four thousand four ninety. wow what'd you say ten thousand ten thousand you're closer under you win ten thousand you no, win no actually you're no, closer because you i said ten thousand you say 800 it's it's underneath five thousand you're closer plus i went over if we're so playing what do prices I, so right I, rules what do i get you get the washer dry combination great yeah great which i need you should have said i should have said one dollar <sighs> No, I would have lost anyway. I should have said 801. Yeah. That's what and I should have said. I know. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to Oh, there's 12 countries in Antarctica. There's, well, there is? That's what there's it says. 12 countries in Antarctica? That established bases there. Argentina, oh, okay. Argentina, Australia, Occupying. Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, Soviet Union, United Kingdom, and of course, the United States. Happy 4th of July. There's a chance you could live on Antarctica and know everyone. How about this? How many people do you think you know? Really, how many people you think you know? Like, wh- okay, let me Not ask you know this. of, you've exchanged words with, at minimum, acquaintance. Do Including I have to have their friends, phone numbers in my phone? No, you know I them. I know them. You say, hey, Bill. He says, hey, Chris. I would say I know 1,500 people. <sighs> what do you think you know? It's, I don't know. I think more than that. You think more? Yeah, yeah. In my, in my lifetime, cumulative? Yeah. I don't know. It's got to be more than that. But I probably have 1,500 numbers in my phone. Well, let me... Like, Kieran, I know that Sean, because I've never erased a number Scott. since the first time I ever got a phone in 1998. You've never erased a phone number? No. <laughs> I have the numbers I entered into my phone in 1998 are still in my phone. I do that not because I keep tut- in time with everybody, but because if someone ever calls me from my past, right. I want to know who it is. You want to know who it's it like is. It's like a built-in caller ID buffer. So if somebody calls you with an unidentified number, they really don't know you. They really they don't. They have really never met you because you, yeah. somebody, I don't could answer. You, somebody could call you from 1998 yeah. that you haven't spoken to since 1998. Name will pop up. Correct. They'll say, they could text you, say, hey, you know, hey, Sal, haven't spoken in a long time since 1998. FYI, it's Bill. You're right back. I know. What up, Bill? I know it's you. I know it's yeah, you. Yeah. I got your number safe. <laughs> That's amazing to have numbers in your phone pre nine eleven. I know, I know. You got pre nine eleven phone numbers. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, what, what, what do you do? You do a purge every time you get a new phone. I'm one of those guys. I didn't do it on purpose. You know, like kind of carried over, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna go in there and delete. I'm one of those guys. I never like know how to upload to the cloud or this and that. So yeah. I'm one of those guys. My phone gets completely wiped every, every time, time I break You're it. Like new phone, need your numbers again. The Verizon guy, the or whenever I get a new phone, they're like, hey, you back it up to the iCloud, right? Of course, I say no. I've never plugged it in. Right. They say, so you have nothing backed up. I say no. <laughs> Well, there's, and I just have to deal with it every time. I just have a completely blank slate. I wow. lose everything. All right, all right. Yeah, which is, you know, unfortunate. Um, 
Study found that people know between 1,000 and 10,000 faces of friends, family members, colleagues, and celebrities, with most racking up about 5,000. Boom, which is just above the population of Antarctica, so, which <laughs> means that you could potentially know every last person on Antarctica. Yeah, that's where, yeah, yeah that's amazing. Imagine, Can, like, you leave your house, and no matter who you see, you know them. No matter it's where you go. kind of fascinating. That is fascinating. Right? Here we go. Four reasons planes don't fly over Antarctica. Can you, can you... Because, because I'm telling you why they don't fly over. Because if they fly over, they say weather conditions, it's BS. They say lack of visibility, it's BS. Lack of infrastructure, it's BS. Navigation and other concerns, kind of true. It's BS? Okay. Because if you fly over that, yeah. you will be shot down by the military because they do not want you to see whatever they're doing deep in Antarctica. The only the people that have the stations on Antarctica, go pull up a map of Antarctica. Pimp, pull, if up. You can. pull up. Antarct Just pull up a map of Antarctica because I want to show you. I want to show, show the viewers and the listeners. Some of you at home may be like, I know this. I know what's going on. Some of you. I don't like, know Christian how. Christ. I don't know this. How are we you, not you see all talking about it? You see the little tip of Antarctica all the way at the top. It kind of looks like there? Australia. Yeah. That's where all the bases are. That's where everything is. The rest of it, which is bigger than almost all the continents combined, nobody has ever seen. They will not allow anybody to fly Abominable over that. Abominable snowman you just walking fly around. Over that. You're shitting me. I promise you. They think there's a whole civilization that, oh, out there, and they think that it's warm. What? Yes, they how, think that it, they, the climate changes and it's warm. How do they think that and not know it? Don't we have all sorts of sonar or satellite capabilities? Can't we tell by uh, heat? Uh... I don't know. Wow. I don't know, Sal. Do you I, think, you, how many places of the earth do you think are uh, uncharted? I th well, I think every piece of land has been charted, but the ocean, the Osh, we only know, only know. 5% of the oceans, 95% undiscovered. Wow. So so that means they people think there's over $1 billion worth of treasure on the ocean floor that we can never get to. So if you you I would and, guess and it, more. Way, you get it, it's yours. So there are people's oh, because jobs it's like out there, international waters. International waters. You get it. You go deep sea dive right now. That's why people you, do it. They really hunt for treasure. You go, you go hunt for treasure. It's yours. The government can't take it away. It's yours. You you want it. So if you're out there on your ass, you don't have a job. Get in the oceans, babe. Get in the oceans. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, get well, yourself what? an oxygen tank. Yeah. Get yourself, uh, you know, some goggles. Go get some deep sea diving. Yeah. Get a fisherman's boat. Get yeah. out to the Mariana Trench. Take a dive. Yeah. You know, maybe you don't, you won't have to live in your parents' basement it's anymore. It's all singles. That's the catch. That's the catch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, the flat earth thing, I don't think. You think every single land territory has been combed over? I, I. You, you, like you just said, Antarctica. They like well here. Yeah, Pimp Pimp has now pulled up the fifteen unexplored corners of the Earth. So let's go. Okay, number one, Valo de Javari, de Javari, Brazil. Fourteen uh, uh, Amazon's uncontacted tribes, isolated wow. place in the world. Wow, two thousand indigenous people live autonomously from the Brazilian government in an area about the size of Austria. Wow. Austria, by the way, shout out to Austria. I went there briefly once. Shout I mean, out. some of the best chocolate yeah. I've ever had in my life. The view of the mountains. I was on a train from uh, uh, Germany to Austria. and the How fast was it going? I, I, I would say 40 what, miles an hour. And what time did you leave the station? I would say <laughs> I would, I would, I would say 50 miles per hour. I don't know what that is in kilometers. Because <laughs> I know whatever it was, it was in kilometers. How does a train derail? Oh, it's on track. It's on track. What's going on there? I know because they say you afraid of a train derailment. Does that ever cross your mind? No. When, when I see it, I'm always shocked. When it should be because the, the, you're way more likely to die in a derailment than a plane crash. Yeah, right. Derail, the Wait, train. No. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, trains derail way more than planes crash. <laughs> okay, right. I thought you meant like if a plane crashes, the fatality rate is higher than anything because it just <laughs> every two about every hour and a half a train collides with another object or is derailed. <laughs> About every hour and a half, every two weeks, yes. a train that is carrying hazardous material derails in the United States. There you go. So this train's derailing every hour and a half? We literally, at the beginning of this episode, a train derailed. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> train people. Yeah. Fix it. Fix it. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. You don't have the technology to lock down a train? And, hey, maybe tracks isn't the right answer well, after no, all. Be, no, because, because, because you put anything on the track. I mean, an animal could, could do something on the track. Put a stick on the track, and it, yeah, you, but a train. What? You, a tra it's a track, though. But the, but but you can't guard the whole tracks. What are you going to put up walls or you, the tracks? People, but people live on the tracks. You're telling me 
that a train that is bolted to the tracks that is scientifically engineered to maintain a safe speed mm-hmm. right is there should be there should be no risk involved on a train Listen. right like it's all engineering so if, if if a train is derailing it's it's going too fast it shouldn't be allowed to go that fast now in incidences of accidents where something goes out of control and the train is speeding and they can't stop it whatever like something from a movie i get it but every hour and a half a train is colliding with something well because here's the thing i bet you that's uh that it's one those statistics like where it's true but it's not true because it's like yes it probably derails every every hour and a half but there's probably some bs re- there's probably to to have a derailment is probably like a loose thing like if it just like hiccups a little bit they probably have to report a derailment okay even though nobody got hurt and they're still on their way and the train i'm a full derailment when it goes off the track yeah, that like, makes the news yeah like unbreakable like i'm talking yeah, about like m night Shyamalan. how great was that movie unbreakable terrific that was with Denzel, right? And TJ Miller? Absolutely not. You're okay. thinking of the uh, Outlander. No, the... the s- I'm thinking of Yogi Bear. No, you're thinking, of, <laughs> you're thinking of the guy that walks into a room and he assesses everything. He's like the exterminator. Is it Unbreakable it, what, with Denzel and TJ Miller? No, Unbreakable is with Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson yes. and Night Shyamalan yes. vehicle. And Split was the... Yeah. By the way, Split, can yeah. I just can I just take a moment? Split and glass, I like too. Can I just take a moment and tell you right now, I'm going to look you in your eyes, I'm going to look the camera in the eyes, I'm going to look all the cameras in the eyes, I'm going to look everybody in the eyes, and I want to tell you right now, I want to make a claim and tell you that in my lifetime, I believe unequivocally that James McAvoy, the lead of Split, is the best actor I've ever seen. Wow. I'm going to say James McAvoy is my favorite actor, and I think the far and away... Best actor on the planet right now. That includes being a better actor than Kevin Costner. Okay, okay. I have some people that I think are the best actors. Wait, let me ask you a question. And James McAvoy isn't in it? Is that is that on the heels of the movie Split? Or is, I couldn't is believe how good he was in Split. But what else do you love of him? I don't know any other movies uh, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> so Split is the best movie you've ever seen in your entire best life. Best movie I've ever seen in my life. I was terrified from beginning to end. I couldn't believe. Et cetera. How, that he's, uh, he does, et cetera. Et cetera. Right. Yes. Uh, Dennis and all the characters. Yeah. I couldn't believe what he did. And then when he became the beast, I couldn't believe how he made his body like that and contorted that. And it was by far the best movie I've ever seen. But now that I'm talking out loud, I have never seen or heard of James McAvoy in any other movie. <laughs> I, I, you know who I think is really good who should be like a re- maybe he is a household name and I don't know but I know he's respected by his peers Michael Shannon Michael that Shannon that guy is sick who's Michael Shannon he's in everything and he, oh I know Michael Shannon you know who he is I think he get, uh, yes he says I've seen this guy he he's gets so pretty, good he get, uh, allegedly he gets like wasted at a bar in the Lower East Side like weekly Oh, I this love guy, to, yeah I would yeah Michael I would love Shannon to do that I think with he, him. I don't know if he's from New York but he's in New York. A lot, like he gets alleg- allegedly like shit faced all mean, the just, time. Just look at him; he looks like so distinguished. Yeah, he was in a really good movie. I think the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal when he played like that cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was in um, Night Creatures or something like that. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that was another good Night movie. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawl yeah. was another good. Yeah, where's Shannon from? Oh no, no, no! It was that movie by Tom Ford. Like it, it, it midnight creatures, like something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, but like yeah, they 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 pull him over. They play the cop his, with yeah. the, with, the, with, the, with his cancer or yes, something like yes, that. Yeah, they kill like his so wife and his good. girlfriend. Yeah, so, he's also funny. Did you ever see him in the night before that no. Seth Rogen movie? No. Oh, so funny. No, he's great, and he's a lawyer. Oh, well, how oh do you he's like the that? son of a lawyer. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, August 7, 1974. He's, only, he's not. He looks way older. He's two years older than me. He looks I, incredible. I thought he was in his 70s. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, he doesn't look incredible. Oh, wait. I said he looks incredibly older than what yeah, he actually is. He doesn't is. look my age. No. Why are you born like 70? a child compared to him. Yeah. Can you pull it? There's no <laughs> way that that's right. <laughs> We're a two year difference. How is it? We, we, we would have been in school together. Listen. No, he looks like a distinguished gentleman, and I look like a young kid that's trying to get old. Tell Michael Shannon we love to have him on the pod. Michael, if you're listening, and we know that you we are. We know that you are. Yeah, please, come on the pod. We want to come talk to you. Come on the pod. Absolutely. Oh, how about this? This is real quick. This happened. Did you see this? Because we're talking about getting eaten by a whale. Did you see this story, Sal? This is a real thing. No, but you know what? Our podcast is like a train. The conversations get derailed, <laughs> derailed. the whole time. I love it. But you know what? You know what? It makes it fun. Because what are we supposed to do? Talk about one topic no, for an hour? No. no. <laughs> this is this is the podcast for ADHD people. L- literally, if you want to, for an hour, if you want to go over legitimately, <laughs> at minimum, head. 65 different topics, <laughs> this is the podcast for you. And why not get your daily, you're only going to need to listen to this for a 
week, you go, you got everything covered. Yeah, you got everything yeah. covered. Yeah, you could talk about a hundred different things. I know you have a hundred conversation starters after you come off of one of our rantic podcast rants. If you still have social Frantic. anxiety at parties after listening to this podcast with all the facts <laughs> we're giving you, then it's really on you, and we'd advise you to go to BetterHelp.com promo code Hey Babe. And if you're hungry, Magic Spoon. And if you need an erection. Blue chill keeps, and if you want to hide your want to hide your <laughs> internet VPN Express. <laughs> um, okay, uh, promo code Hey Babe on all that. So and, and, and if you're looking for nice clothes for the summer, Macy's. I took a big swing. You took a big swing. Yes, 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 yes. We'll yes, see what yes, happens. Yeah, well, yeah. But if and if Macy's doesn't want to get in, then of course our friends at Mac Weldon will have you covered. <laughs> yeah, <that's> exactly. <laughs> promo right. code Hey Babe. Um, <laughs> um, okay. I mean, again, dude. I know. It's just. Every time we come in here, we are rock hard. Yeah, rock hard. I directions. mean, Boner City. Yeah, it's it's like we every time we come in, we dock. We're fine with yeah, we're fine with people knowing. Yeah, and look now, homeless pimps are taking it. Look at how hard homeless it's pimps. Great. Are. I love it. That's got to be the, that's that's the result of a blue chew, is it not? Well, because I of said course. I said his table with the computer and and the, and the soundboard <laughs> on. I said it looks a couple inches higher. Yeah. I said, what's going on? He said, blue chew. Yeah. He's got a hard on. <laughs> blue chew. He's got blue chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's chewable tablets and it's a fraction of the cost. The best part it's all done online there's no doctor's visits it's Nothing. discreet there's no awkward conversations you don't have to wait at a pharmacy i mean i mean the biggest one of the biggest like things that impedes getting the help you need for any type of ed is you don't want to go out there and blast it into the streets no it's very 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 personal it's annoying but bluetooth solves that problem i was actually on a plane coming over here yesterday and i kept getting hit in the head and i was like i turned around i said hey stop kicking my chair he said oh it's blue chew yeah it's, it's not i said all right i i've been there i've done that you gotta you know congrats you got a stiffy bluechew.com and you can have a stiffy too here's how bluechew.com promo code hey babe you get your first month free so if you want a month of free boners all you got to do is go to bluechew.com put in the promo code hey babe it's safe it's designed just for you i'm telling you this little blue chew will make you rock hard and you'll never <laughs> i mean your cock will be it'll be painful <laughs> but in a good way <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay five bucks shipping that's all they Sorry. ask that's all they ask thank you i for couldn't see that. that part over my boner that, yeah, blue chew get you up and keeps you there uh thank you for sponsoring the podcast blue chew BlueChew.com, promo code, hey, babe. Dude, did I ever tell you? Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time it was like a period in my life where I was like, you know, shaving my balls because the girlfriend at the time said she didn't like Bush? Yeah. So I was shaving my balls and I cut one of my testicles clean off. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not remember? You told me this story hundreds of times. I cut it clean I, off. I'm begging you, please stop telling me the story. I cut it clean off. I had to yeah. go to the hospital with my ball in my hand. Yeah. And I'm there with the razor, my testicle in my hand. And he goes, what the hell happened? I said, I cut my balls off. He goes, you're not using Manscaped? Yeah, the doctor knew about it. Yeah, and I was like, no. And then he sewed my balls up. And when I woke up, I had a Manscaped 4.0, the uh, lawnmower 3.0 yeah. on my no, chest. No, no, said, no, no, the 4.0 is out Oh, the 4.0, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. At the 4.0, which is um, the lawnmower 4.0, which um, trims your balls so precise. You will yeah. never cut your balls off using the lawnmower 4.0 like I did. You look better when you're manicured, no? Yeah. You just look like you're putting time and effort into the situation. Yes. Right? Yes, absolutely. I actually know a friend, he had testicular cancer. He got, he won. He, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, please tell him. What's his name in social? He got, he got his ball. He had to get a testicle removed because obviously cancer. Thank God he's okay. He actually got his ball re- he got to put back in just so he could use Manscaped and try the lawnmower 4.0. He told me I, I wanted to get my... You want it back in because you need the weight of the ball to make the sack taut so you can go over it with the scape. Otherwise, it's just like an empty trash bag. Exactly. Yeah. So he said now he's got two balls and the only reason he did it is so he could use the lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. That's it. And you can use the lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped too and we're going to give you a nice deal if you go to manscaped.com slash heybabe. 20% up plus free shipping. Some of these companies... With the shipping. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. They're going to give you free shipping, 20% off, manscaped.com slash hey babe. So this guy, this guy got swallowed. He says, allegedly, he was deep sea diving, looking for treasures and lobsters. He, <laughs> off the coast of Cape Cod, and he- Cape Cod. Cape Cod. <laughs> <laughs> Cape Cod. Cape Cod. That's, that's how they would say it, right? Cape Cod. Cape Cod. 
Oh, I there. Know, but, 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 Cape Cod. They'd go Cape Cod. they do? Is they'd go they Cape say? Cod. This, uh, I'd be in Cape Cod and Cod Soccer. Treasures and lobsters. Treasures and lobsters in Cape, Cape Cod. Cod. Yeah. Go Sox. Uh, you uh, hear what happened to your father? Yeah. He's dead. He went out looking for treasures and lobsters without telling us. Yeah, he got swallowed up, Got swallowed by a humpback whale. Yeah. Gonna have a real Cape Cod funeral. Cape Cod. And this is always the, this has always been the funniest name of a town. It's High Anus. But I just was like, <laughs> High Anus, High Anus. I don't know what it is. But but he was Friday at last Friday afternoon taken to Cape Cod Hospital because he claims he was swallowed whole by a humpback whale and was inside the whale's mouth for minutes and then punched the whale in the side of its body and the whale sp spat him out and he broke his arm on the impact coming back into no, the ocean. No, can't be true. Pimp, can't be true. Tell, I'm telling you, this is what he's. <laughs> is this, this footage of it? No, no, this oh, is just, oh. no, no, no. There's no footage of it miraculously, and nobody believes. Licensed commercial lobster divers pluck lobsters off the sandy bottom and uh, uh, um, uh, ocean. Where is it? Um, so that's what they do. All and then and this guy's um, Packard. His last name was. He says all of a sudden I felt this huge shove, and the next thing I knew it was completely black. Packard recalled, I could sense I was moving, and I could feel the whale squeezing with the muscles in its mouth. He said. Packard thought he was inside a great white shark, but he couldn't feel any teeth and he, had, and he hadn't suffered any obvious wounds. It quickly dawned on him that he'd been swallowed by a whale. I was completely inside. It was completely black. I thought to myself, there's no way I'm getting out of here. I'm done. I'm dead. All I could think of was my boys. They're 12 and 15. Oh, my God. So that came out and was all over the news. But now fishermen have come out and said, that's just, not true. It can't possibly be true. It can't. But what do you think happened? What then? has he gained from this? His name's in the news. Is he? Does he own a lobster business or a lobster farm or something like that? If he doesn't, he, maybe it's like he's getting some eyes on his lobster business name. Well, they're saying, is it possible for a sperm whale to swallow a human whole? It is physically possible. It, however, such a person would be crushed, drowned, or suffocated. It, yeah, that's what I was thinking. In the whale stomach, the the <laughs> muscles have to be so enormous that it would crush you. Isn't this Moby Dick? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. When I read this, I, I couldn't stop thinking about you, Sal. As a germaphobe, what would you do? How would you handle that? Yeah, well, first of all, I don't know if I'd be throwing haymakers inside the whale. I would just, I would probably just resign to the fact that my fist is not going to save me when I'm inside the bowels of the whale. You're saying if you were inside a whale, you wouldn't fist it to try to get out? I, I, I don't know. What else I, are you going to do? I don't know if I'd be in there like, uh, uh, right, just, you know what I mean? Well, what would you do? Take us through. Let's say you're swimming. You're, you're having a good time. You know, maybe you're looking for treasure. Maybe you're looking for lobster. Maybe you're just in the ocean having a good time off the coast of Cape Cod. You get swallowed by a whale. <laughs> What do you do? You have your cell phone, by the way. I want to let you know that you do have a phone. Okay. Just FYI. Okay. And I just switched to Verizon recently, so I probably have service. So especially especially off the coast of Massachusetts, where Verizon is, is, is very well. You very know, predominant. Very, they have a lot of AT, towers. A lot of towers. If you had AT&T, T-Mobile off the coast, no disrespect to them, but I think in the Massachusetts area, you want Verizon. You're going to die in that whale if you have T-Mobile. Right. But you have yeah. Verizon. Let's say you have one bar. Honestly, I would probably, uh, I would probably, I don't know, would I pray? Yeah. I don't really pray. You don't but pray. But I might. I mean, you're looking for a last ditch effort there. I might be like, well, if you're there. If you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, if you're listening. I'll do it from now on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even understand. Uh, yeah, I like I you. Like, what would you do? What would you What would you do? I mean, I'm in that hole. Dying on the road. And the dad don't dumb in the humpback. And he only went up in the Punching his whale. And again, I'm in the money. And the daddy's on. In and out of mind now. I ain't got a job now. But for me, in another cold life. You are smoking crack. Don't they say smoking crack or something? I don't know. Catchy hook. So I would say... I would say I would, if I, I was in there, what I would think I, I to would do. I would try to like pull apart uh, like like stuff inside. Something to, to re, I maybe try to like start to tickle. Vein. Yeah, tickle it. Something like yeah. that where it's like, I got to get this thing out. You know what's so I'd funny? I start tickling the inside of the whale. As a child, when we used to go to the Brooklyn Battery, my dad would say we got swallowed by a whale and we're in his stomach. And we'd be like, this is insane. How and great then, of a dad do you and, have? And, yeah. <laughs> and then like we'd be in it for a while and we'd be like, are we ever going to get out? And he'd be like, you got to tickle the roof so it shoots us out. <laughs> so he would tell us that when we got to the edge and then we'd see the opening and be like, we fucking did it! Yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That, I'm going to steal that. Yeah. Um, Sperm whales are so loud they could potentially vibrate you to death. Sperm whales are so loud that their clicks are capable of killing a human within their vicinity. Wow. Says one science and adventure journalist, sperm whales are the loudest mammals on the planet. 
uh, they haven't, I guess they haven't tested uh, my daughter, was vocalizations <laughs> reaching an astonishing 230 decibels. I would like to put my daughter up against a sperm whale <laughs> and see who's louder. <laughs> oh, sweet Christ. Okay, so, so yeah, so, so listen, so tell you, us, what do you think? Do you think, do you think that... Do you think that he um do you think that he really got swallowed or no? Is there a way that our fans can contact the show yet? Yeah, they can send us an email. Where? A heybabepod at gmail.com. Write to heybabepod at gmail.com. Let us know. Yeah. Do you, do, is it BS or was he really swallowed by the whale? Let me ask you this. Can he get arrested for that false narrative? Where did they find him? Did he self report to the hospital? I think so. Hmm. Well, no, I don't think he could because what did you really you had to go to the hospital anyway? You were injured. I know, but if he called emergency services on the heels of a fake story and he employed like our a tax stuff, like you can't just call the police for no reason, right? You get in trouble. You can't call the police and lie to them. Yeah. Right? But let me ask you this. I can't call the police and lie to them, but what if what turns out that I think is an emergency is an emergency? For example, I actually got knock on my door once. Um, you know, my daughter's six years old. I had called, I didn't know that you can't just continuously call poison control. So I would call poison control and report that my, uh, it, it did what my daughter just do is that poisonous because I was so nervous. Like I did it like 10 times and then they alerted child protective services and they knocked on the door and they said, hey, we're here. I swear to God. And they were like, they talked to me and Jazz and Delilah's mom and they were like, what, you know, like we need to like get, give a home inspection now because you've called poison control 10 times. And we were like, we went to the impression that that was there for us for our comfort because she would take, you know, so that, you know, kids. that's how they answer the phone. <laughs> poison control for your comfort. <laughs> because I, hey, poison control, another one coming at you. My daughter swallowed a Tide Pod. Well, yeah, well, well, no, because you know there was a couple of times where she, you know, she swallowed a magnet, she swallowed like a roach, in fact, distant, like things like that that like war and poison control. You can't keep. You, you can't, can't keep. You can't. You can't have eyes on her twenty four seven. Yeah, I, re I remember. I remember one time my daughter swallowed a magnet. I was drunk at the Mets game with my friend Lukash. Shout out Lukash, and. She, you know, Jasmine calls me and she's like, hey, you got to get to the hospital um, right now. Delilah swallowed a magnet. And then I show up to the hospital drunk because I was at the Mets game. I was like, oh, she's with, you know, her mother. There's going to be no problems. And Jasmine's yelling at me in the emergency room. She's like, I can't believe you're drunk right now. Your daughter just swallowed a magnet. I'm like, I didn't know you were going to feed her pieces of the refrigerator. <laughs> like, you know, like I thought I thought she's with her mom. That, you know, we're going to have mac and cheese. Not I like to flash back to you at the game. But yeah. It's like two more beers. You're like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> just in case my daughter swallows a magnet. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah. You never know. It's I mean, it's a Friday night. She might my, my her mom might feed her mementos from our trips to Aruba. <laughs> so so so, but but I call but you, you can't call poison control because we would call kind of stupidly. No like, idea. I remember, and I would and in fairness, Jasmine really didn't do it that much. It was more me. Like I called down. once because again, just being so nervous. Delilah, she was maybe. 18 months old and I know this is stupid but she got into a bag of chocolate that was on the floor and she ate like six chocolates I, I you know she was like eating them you know she was just like just getting teeth and melting in her mouth and I saw like wrappers and chocolate all over her face and then I immediately called because I thought children were the ones who couldn't eat chocolate but it's dogs it's dogs <laughs> but I children can't eat poinsettias right yeah. that's what it is but yeah. I can't so I didn't know that and I said I remember being on the phone with poison control and being like she ate so many chocolates she was like okay well is she having any stomach pains or anything like that I said no like what it, if it could be poisonous and they were like no that's that's for dogs <laughs> and i remember like i remember there being like a, a little bit of a beat and being like okay <laughs> but then so i called poison control on that but then i remember there was one time where delilah sprayed febreze in her mouth and we kind of had a family decision said there's no reason there's no reason to call poison control but we should have called you, poison you control called on the, on febreze the in mouth. we called on the chocolate so but anyway after the 10th time <laughs> We got that knock on the door. I was shocked. I thought I thought we were gonna lose our kid, and they were like, "You can't just." They were like, "Oh, like you know." As a matter of fact, the poison like, control guy was maybe very, maybe after the tenth poison call, the it's you the problem. It's yeah, that's what they were saying. The, well, like, well, why is she around so much poison? And in fairness, I Jasmine probably only called once, maybe. <laughs> you're when, like you're like poison control. My <laughs> daughter just drank a bottle with a skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> <laughs> we had them lying around. Yeah, yeah. No, so so I kept calling and uh, and but but they told me there they're like you can't just this isn't just like a a line where you can just call like it, they really have <laughs> to know, adjust. You, I didn't you know, know them that. by name. I thought it was. Was, I like, was like, hello, boys in control. And you're like, can I talk to Sandra? I <laughs> usually deal with Sandra. <laughs> yeah. I had one time I came home from being out late. 
So it was like, I had to be like two, three in the morning, right? right. This is when I lived in my little Great base, socks, base by the way. Apartment. Solid green that, socks. Thank Can't you go so wrong. much. Well, you got the thing right there, though. There, right. Nothing says 4th of July like green and white. Yeah, happy 4th. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I celebrate my independence. Vancouver Grizzlies and green socks. That's how we roll. <laughs> we clashing right now, but Look I like us. it. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. I can deal with it. 3 a.m., I come home. By the way, on July 4th, real quick, because yeah, obviously please. it's not July 4th yet. It's July 1st. Barbecue at your place? Yeah, we'll do. Oh, we do a barbecue at your place. If if I don't go somewhere, okay, I was invited somewhere and I had to figure okay. it out. If I don't, would love nothing more than to host barbecue at your place. Okay, okay, yeah. great. Pimp, you're in. If we have it, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, come home three in the morning. I was out. I w walk into my apartment, turn on the lights, close mm -hmm. the door, come into the house, drop my keys down. I go to like wash my face, brush my teeth. Down. I'm still fully dressed, right. and I'm in the bathroom, and I hear what sounds like. A police walkie, like a walkie-talkie, not a police, a, a walkie-talkie. I heard like, okay. Blah, 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 blah. okay. And I was like, what the hell is that? Right. And I, I, I shut the bathroom light because it had the fan. Right. I shut it and I'm listening and there's someone right outside my basement window and right outside and there is a walkie-talkie going off. And then I saw shadows and then I saw them come down the steps and I saw by the top of my door, I had these little windows at the top of the door and I saw someone walk down and then I heard it right there and I'm like, oh my God, someone's about to break into my house or something. Like right. I, I was I was home less than three minutes. Coding and all that stuff is so hard. And we live in a digital world. I didn't go to school for coding. I went to school for physical therapy and and, and my and major in psychology. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to code anything, but I want to build a website for my business, squarespace.com, far and away the best place to do it. They handle all the coding stuff that you don't have to be a freaking rocket scientist anymore to make a website. You go to squarespace.com. It's a dynamic all-in-one platform where the customers build a website, claim a domain, and sell online and market a brand. Squarespace.com. Wow. That's all you need to go. Squarespace. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't even have anything to add to this. Uh, well, the only thing I can add to you, for you is go to squarespace.com slash hey babe for a free trial. And when you're ready, when you're ready to launch, use the offer code hey babe and you save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So squarespace.com slash hey babe, when you're ready to make when the website, you get 10% off with the promo code hey babe. That's it. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. You did everything just now. I did nothing. I, know, I think Squarespace's numbers are going to double or triple this week. I mean, if they don't, what are we doing here? We're in an age where everyone's doing it themselves anyway. Remember okay. when you had to be like, I want to I wanna make a website, and then you had to like go pull like a number off a sheet of paper on a telephone pole nope. for somebody who could do HTML for you? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Squarespace.com. Babe, I love, I'm loving my babble. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, I've noticed every time I come in here, it's like you're speaking a different language. Me and Pimp thought you would go, were freaking getting, we thought you were possessed by Satan the other day. I was speaking in tongues. You were speaking 16th century <laughs> Tibetan. You learned it on Babel. All on Babel. Where else are you going to learn? Babel is like a fun language learning yes. app that we keep pushing. But I'm telling you, it's one of those apps that I also go to. Like I go to like my games yes. or I go to something to kill time. Instead of going to social media, why not better yourself? Yes. You're going to spend an hour scrolling, looking at other people's lives. No. You could spend 15 minutes on these fun, easy to go on the go lessons and learn a language as you go in your spare time. I mean, come on. They got 14 different languages, including Sp Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Those are the big ones. So you go to Babbel. And here's what you do. You go to Babbel, you learn a language, and here's the deal. When you go to Babbel, because I'm just being blocked by the camera, hold on. When you go to Babbel, there you go, Babbel.com, that's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, use the promo code HEYBABE, that's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code HEYBABE, you get an extra three months free when you buy three months. So pretty right. much you get six months for the price, for the price of, three. of three. Go to Babbel.com and use the promo code HEYBABE, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code HEYBABE for an extra three months free. Every time I talk to someone, they're like, oh, I wish I could learn a second language. What are you going to do? You're going to sit in front of a computer all the time? No. You're going to go brick and mortar? You're going to no. take a ride somewhere? You're going to have to take a train to a bus yeah. and go sit in a room with other people that are probably yeah. sweaty and disgusting? Yeah. No, do it at the convenience of your own time, on your phone, on your app, better yourself. Go, as a matter of fact, do this. I want our fans right now, go to babble.com, put in the promo code, hey babe, for the three months free with a, with a purchase of three months. Learn, suck my ass, Rosetta Stone, in whatever language you choose, <laughs> tweet it at hey babe pod on Twitter. Yes, please. Right? Right. All of a sudden I hear boom, boom, boom. So they knock on the door, I go, hello? They go, open it. I shit you not. Open the door, police. Wow. I swear to God, I'm like, there's no way this is the police, right? So I'm like, this person's going to, I'm not opening the door. They're going to kick my door open, come in and assault me and steal something or whatever. They probably saw me come in and they tailed me. This is, I mean, wouldn't you, that be what you think? Of course. So I go, I'm not opening the door. They're like, you have to open the door. It's the police. I said, I'm not opening the door. And then I heard their walkie talkie and it was like, 
police chatter on it. Right. So I was like, how do I know you're the police? And they're like, we're the police. <laughs> and there was like multiple people. It was like yeah. three guys. Yeah. So I opened the door. It's the police. Right. And they go, you just called? And I go, called? And they're like, yeah, you just called us. There's a problem. And did I tell you the story? No, this has happened to me. You, you, this has happened to you? Yep. Okay, I don't know if I ever told this story. No, 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 no. This, this has never happened to me. This is fascinating. So I go, I, I go, I definitely didn't just call. They're like, all right, you want to tell us why you called? They like didn't believe me. They were giving me shit. And I was like, I, I, I said, not only did I not call, I go, I've been home three minutes. Right. I go, I just walked in. I go, I, I walked in the door and went to go wash my face. Yeah. I was like, and then I heard your, your walkie talkies. Yeah. And they go, you called. Why did you call? And I'm oh, like, they were going to be like, why do you wash your face immediately? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I go, I go, I go, this is like freaking me out. And it's they go, freaking me out. I, I go, okay, if I called, I go, wouldn't I, wouldn't I have the number in, in, in my phone? Uh, my landline, right? Wouldn't I have the number? And she goes, hold on. They get on the phone with the, with the operator. They say, dial back the number that just called. And my phone rings. <gasps> my landline rings. And I, 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 I the, the, the feeling that went through my body, oh. and then they, they looked at me and like, see, you called. And they still think I'm like, for some reason, skirting something or lying to them. And I just was like in shock. And I'm like, I have no reason to call you. Nothing's wrong. I just got home. I said, I don't understand why my phone is ringing. I'm like, did someone call from my, is someone in the closet? <laughs> yeah. Right? So they're just like, all right, well, you can't call like that anymore. And they go to walk away. I go, wait, I didn't call. Like, you can't leave right now. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, of you don't yes. You don't want to investigate further. I'm telling you the truth why my phone just rang. And they're like, no. Well, and they just left. So and, then, and then I was home that night and, and, and I looked at, and, and I don't know, to this did day. Did you have a landlord? Was this one you were living? Was this your own private residence no, at that point? I had a landlord upstairs, but it was three in the morning. And also my landline is my own. It's not his it's number. It's not connected to his, no, right? To this day, no idea. Now, Can, did your friends have a key? Because that's a good prank. <laughs> no, no, no one, no one did that. No one did that. Well, what happened to you? Because because is it a, is this a common thing? Mine isn't as I haunted. asked them. I said, "How are you guys walking away knowing that I swear to you? Like right now, I have no reason to lie anymore. So you guys aren't wow. don't, you don't want to investigate? And they, right. they, they they were over it. They didn't care at all. Wow. That's creepy. Dude. That's weird. When the, when the phone rang said, back, like on the oh, it gave me the NYPD. Chills. I know. Yeah, I know. And I. I, I just, it's one of those what things I'll go to the have, grave but, with. Like, I don't but now know. that we're thinking about it, like, could it have been just a, a dial, a switchboard? I mean, is that a thing? Like, or is that just a fake where lines get crossed? My question is, did somebody die because of you now? Right. Because of you, because of the switchboard problem where the person who needed the 911 call, they were off by one digit, yeah. and now something terrible happened to them, and you've gone on to fame and fortune? Uh, what a twist of fate. Twist of fate. Why, man? This is weird. Oh, it happens all the time. Supposed 911 call from my phone that I didn't make alerted my dad and changed my emergency preferences. Okay. What? So my dad called me in a panic at 10 a.m. This says this morning saying he received a notification that I called 911. I was in the shower. No one had access to my phone and there's no trace of it in my call log. Verizon turned off my emergency phone call access as a result, which my dad had to turn back on Friday the 13th thing or glitch in the system. Or was it Friday the 13th? Mm -hmm. if, it, if that happened on Friday the 13th, was it Friday the 13th? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it then. That's it, it had to be now Friday the 13th. Now that you mention it. Now yeah. that you mention it. By the, the way, I just, because I'm a little freaked out, yeah. someone in your house, you know, someone in the, in the studio thing just walked down and I Ghost. literally almost shit my pants <laughs> because I've never in 25 episodes doing the show seen anyone up here <laughs> and I literally because I was already freaked out by the 911 mm -hmm. I looked over at that time and saw that person and genuinely my heart is in my throat right now <laughs> my heart I have a 150 heart rate right now uh, my perif <laughs> caught them walking into that room too <laughs> hey babe my yeah. perif while walking into that room too and at the, in the corner of my eye I just was like that's definitely just a ghost I couldn't believe I was like oh my god this is the 911 <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time uh, my cell phone rang? I picked it up and it was a woman screaming at me that I, I swear to God, she, I, my was phone her, Was rang, her name Jasmine? Was, it was, <laughs> <laughs> this was the flip phone days. Yeah. Flip phone, but color pictures. So okay. So that era, like when they had the little color I'm gonna pictures. Say two, I'm going to say 2008. Say it. Yeah. Right? And I, uh, hello? And she goes, who the do you think you are? How dare you? And I, I, she just screams, screams, and I'm like, 
hello yeah and she's like whoa I'm a, who is this and i was like i'm so sorry who is this she goes you just texted me a dick pic <laughs> <laughs> i swear to god oh my like, god what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she goes you just texted me i said you just rang my phone i've never seen this number before in my life i said you need to calm down like i i, I said i have no reason to lie to you you don't know me i right. said if i did it, i could like haha and just yeah. hang up on you i didn't do it wow I, I, she goes yes you did i go ma'am i i swear to you i'm sorry you got this and i don't know how you got it right i was like but i would never do that nor did i i don't right. know you i don't know this number oh my and she's god like well i i i don't i don't know if i believe you i go well i go I, i'm telling you you should have sent her a picture of your dick and be like you see <laughs> well how about this i go i swear to god she goes i, I she goes she goes yeah, I, yes you i go I would, I go, I swear to God, I go, send me this photo. Send me the photo. Text it to me. <laughs> text it to me. She texts it to me. I said, ma'am. You still have it? It's, uh, oh, uh, you I, got everybody's I, number for 98, but you don't have the random I, dick pic. We could have put it on the I, Patreon. I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I still have the phone. If I can charge it and find it, I might have it still. If you could charge it and find it, I mean, is that the definition of Patreon it's content? It's the definition. Let's do it. You got to keep the list. Just Which, keep by the, the way, the them. Patreon, I know that we, we be silly. It it's is coming. not a joke. It's, it's not, not a, a joke, and it is genuinely coming. I know some people, like, at this point, I don't know if it's a joke. Well, the reason we can't do the Patreon right this second is because we're so uh, consumed with getting you the episodes because Chris has been in L.A. The second he comes back from L.A. Yeah. in a couple of weeks, we're starting the Patreon. And by the way, reason I've been in L.A. coming up next week, back July 8th. Bar Wars. July 8th, 10.30 p.m., Backyard Bar Wars, after a brand new episode of Impractical Jokers at 10 p.m. So you got 10 p.m. Impractical Jokers, 10.30, my new show, Backyard Bar Wars. I mean, if you're a babe, you got it. You know what you know what you're doing Thursday nights now. You have to. 10 to 11, you're booked. Because once it airs, we're gonna start talking about yeah. it, and you guys are gonna want to know what we're It's gonna be overload. It's gonna be we come out, we come out at 11 a.m. on Thursdays, and then 11, and then and then you have your day set. So your whole day is Full hey babe us. Thursdays for the next 10 weeks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's so, what it is. Yeah. So uh, uh, Patreon, if I can find it, we'll have this picture. There you go. She yeah. texts me it, and I and 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 uh what's weird is she was on the phone. So I guess you could text it while you're on the phone. Because I looked at it and I was like, ma'am, I am a white man. It was a black penis. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I did not call you. I swear to God. I got to be honest and she with was you like, though. all right, all right. Uh. But to be fair, I'm white. I wouldn't say my penis is white. Would you right. say your penis is white? Yeah, I guess. I, I don't have a black penis, I but I don't have a white penis. So sometimes that region as, like yeah. adopts like a, a bit of a different, a different hue. Color. Yeah, a different hue. Yeah, it's yeah. not black. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's not a hey, size tan? thing. Yeah, this is not a size. I would, I would say, if I would say, I have white skin and my penis is Middle Eastern. Right. That's what right. I would say. It's, right. it, it's the color Jesus most it's, likely was. It's like a bronze. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know. I have a Middle Eastern shaded penis. Yeah. Shout out Middle East. Shout out Middle East. Shout I mean, out shade. I hope, you know, peace, shade, uh, hopefully peace comes, you know? Yeah. Israel, yeah. Palestine, oh. figure it out. Yeah. I, we just wish for the best for everybody. Yeah. Uh, uh, Americans consume around 150 million hot dogs on the 4th of July each year. 150 million hot dogs. How, How do you think that, that come up? Oh, it's the 4th of July. It's the 4th of July. Yeah. we talk, we, Oh, that means the the, the hot dog eating competition is going to come back on. I mean, that, is that the best competition? Uh, because it was canceled last year. It has to be. No, happening. it was indoors behind plexiglass last year. I watched it. I spoke to you about it because it was insane because there's like six men and six women. Yeah, shout but out the, Joey Chestnut. Shout out Joey Chestnut. The champ. Kobayashi. Yeah. Shout out Kobayashi. By the way, you real quick, I met Joey Chestnut once, and I, I, I know I could have caught you on a bad day, in Buffalo. I was doing Helium Buffalo. I said, hey, what's up? I'm a big fan, and you looked at me and said nothing just just want to let you know what's up with that joe i Chestnut? remember that joe and i'm still a fan of yours i still hoping and praying that you win on, on the on the july 4th hot dog, hot dog eating contest but it was a little like you know i was really excited to see you and you, you didn't give me the time of day granted we were in buffalo and it's depressing there but you know but actually you know whatever but it, buffalo, it's you, odd though i mean you're if you're recognizing joey chestnut you just hope he at least you know, gives you a nod back I, I was still wearing my poncho from the niagara falls ride and i was just really excited to see you and uh you didn't give me the time of day yeah is it something that you go through every day joey chestnut yeah or you walk around like jesus i'll get bombarded <laughs> yeah the life of joey chestnut you just yeah. don't know what it is yeah i you just know you know I, mean? I just wanted to say you know joey i think um i think kobayashi would have been a little nicer he probably would have yeah okay. it's a rough lifestyle those guys have day jobs yeah. Dude, no, Joey Chestnut can't have a day job. Google Joey Chestnut's net worth. He has to be sponsored big Seven, by somebody he, at this now. Point. At this point, right? Seventy three dogs. Why has Joey Chestnut never been in a Nathan's commercial? How much is he worth? One point five million. Not that that's bad, but I was expecting. I was expecting way more. Yeah, because because also what what kind of I mean what kind of sponsorship should he has outside of Nathan's? I would throw him. I mean Nathan should have thrown him big money though. No. 
I know. You know, he walks away from that competition. He's got Nathan by the dogs. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does. He should, maybe he should flex a little like he does with you. Yeah. Maybe you should treat Nathan's like the Stefano. Yeah, because it was a little Nathan's bit. Nathan's like, hey, Joey, you coming out of the 4th of July party? He's just like, I don't even fucking know you. I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I got news for you, Joey Chestnut. Guess who the, knows, guess who the new face of Sabret is right here. Oh, Sabret. So, um, the face of Sabret. Don't sleep on Sabret. Don't sleep on Sabret. Sabret is a nice Michael dog. Jordan used to endorse Sabret. Really? Wasn't Michael Jordan the Sabret guy? I don't know. Google Michael Jordan Sabret. What did you? Sabre, he put Sabret as <laughs> spokesperson. No, Sabret, S A B R E T T. There it Sabret, is. Sabret, Michael Jordan. Google Sabret Jordan. I'm I'm pretty sure Jordan was Sabret. They had Sabret money. There you go. He, they had Jordan money. There he is. Mike. Here's the Michael Jordan commercial. Lake Hudson. Not yet. Can we show this commercial? Or is it just for us? Think about what this man had to do. He wasn't even there. He's in front of a green screen, and all he's doing is going, yeah. not yet. Not yet. Not yet. By he the way, it wasn't Sabret. It. it was Ballpark Franks. <laughs> and it came up when you Googled Sabret. <laughs> yeah. It was Ballpark Franks. Oh, uh, maybe when he switched over to the White Sox. I'm like, how does he have his hand in everything? Well, no, it was 98 that he won the championship that uh, year. You know, okay. Yeah. Wow. So that one, it was, was, it was, that the was Bulls. Ballpark put up money for that. Big. I mean, you don't picture like Michael Jordan, the greatest contempor- that athlete at the time, to be like hot dogs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, hey, they probably gave him five schmillion. Yeah. So, Brent Hot Dogs recalled over pieces of bone. Co- because if, if, Do you know what a hot dog is? Mm, entrails, right? Do you not want to know it's what just it is? Like, it's just it's like th- everything. It's 4th of July. We're all about knowing what's put in your body. What is a hot dog? A lot of nitrates. Uh, big nitrates, but it's pork and beef. Um, uh, what is are it- hot dogs made of? Here we go. Made from the meat trimmings, which are ground into a fine mixture with other ingredients added for flavor. The mixture is poured into a casing to create the shape. Hot dogs are a cheap source of protein. No, no, no. Good. What, actually, what it animals? Good, what animal? There we go. Beef, veal, pork. Um, I thought it was sheep casing. I thought it was sheep intestine was what the casing of it was. What makes a hot dog gross? 17 hot dog ingredients that make it. Okay, here we go. Chicken trimmings. Trimmings. When you say the word trimmings, that's a red flag right there. I don't want to eat a trimming. Trimmings is like what you cut off the meat. Yeah. Right? It's like, the. I mean, that's disgusting. Dude, I don't want to eat a trimming. Um, antibiotics. Okay, so you which take, is, Hey, listen. If even you got if an, you have a cold. Even if you have a cold. Yeah. Got strep throat. Variety meats, which is never good. Livers, kidneys, and hearts of various animals. Okay, it's a little barbaric. Beef. Fine. Natural sheep casing. That's what gets <laughs> There me. you go. What about when they say it's an all-beef frank? Then, you, then they're telling you we don't have the, all the trimmings? Unless they... Cons- well, what did you consider sheep? Beef or poultry? I don't know. Have you ever eaten a sheep? No, oh, dude. I won't even eat feta cheese. It's, lamb is in a gyro, right? Sheep... We don't eat sheep, right? What's the difference between a sheep and a lamb? No clue. Nor a, go- nor a goat. What's the difference between a sheep, a lamb, and a goat? Not a clue. The difference between a sheep and a lamb? Who says bah? Sheep is a woolly ruminant mammal that is related to the goat. Lamb is a young sheep that is under one... Wow. So when you're eating lamb, you're eating a... When you're eating- Lamb, you're oh. eating a baby sheep. God, that's disgusting. If you've ever eaten a lamb gyro, you're a pedophile. Lamb of <laughs> what is the lamb of God? We take away the sins of the world. What does that mean? Really, God? You're gonna t- the lamb of God. So now I, you got to kill a baby sheep. Is that, what, is that a sacrifice? Yeah, but for sacrifice what? Sacrifice in a one year old sheep to you take feel away my now, sins? God? Yeah. <laughs> you're you're gonna put that on me? I stole a pack of gum from Seven Eleven when I was four. You're gonna kill a lamb? Of I that? gotta kill this baby lamb. What the hell is he doing? Or she? she did you know they? a lamb was a baby sheep? I had no idea. So lamb, when you're eating lamb, so what's a goat? I've never had lamb in my Is life. Is a goat like a... Never once had lamb. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Never had lamb, and no. I act, now that I know this, I never will. Yeah. I never it's, ever it will. Is it gamey? Is it gamey? I don't even want to know, but I would never in a million years... A veal is a baby eat that. cow, right? Yeah. Yeah. So goats are browsers. They look for leaves. By the way, I'm not sheep shaming. I don't want to sheep shame people that eat lambs. You eat lamb, you can still listen to the podcast, no yeah. problem. It's just not for me. Yeah, lamb it up. It's not for me. Yeah. It's, it's not for me either. Go on. The main difference off. between the two is how they forage. That's the main difference? It's foraging. Between a sheep and a goat is just how they... What is a goat? I think a goat... Is it a, in the sheep family? What, goats and sheep have what, to be... They got to be ram? cousins. Is a goat a ram? A ram, I think, is a... Not like a Dodge ram. A, a, like a goat ram. A, do, a, a ram. Don't goats ram each other with the. They, well, a ram, it's got, maybe it's a male goat. So the LA Rams, are they goats? They might be goats. No, a ram is a ram. A ram is heavier and larger compared to goats. Horns are longer and curved over the back. 
uh, uh, the head of the rams, while those more erect and less curved than a goat. Goat has many. Okay, so a ram and a goat are different. So there's female rams. I always thought a ram was the male version of a goat. I thought a goats ram were women. is a male sheep. sheep. And is a different form. So the ram is the male. So a lamb can become a ram. Yeah. So when we're eating, <laughs> when we're eating goats, it's all women. I mean, the feminism movement needs to talk about that. No. We're only eating female animals. No. And goats. Cows are women because the male is a bull. All cows oh, are women. Wow. wow. Every cow, every time you eat a burger, you're eating a, a woman. Correct. Is that right? Yes. What about a bison? A I, don't bison, think bison is, I think bisons only have one sex. I think it's just male. I don't know about that. It sounds odd. That sounds weird. Yeah, it's probably not yeah. right. Oh, interesting. You, in traditional agriculture, you mm. tend to eat more males than females. The females are kept for breeding, and the excess males are eaten, since you only need a few to inseminate lots of females. But I thought cows... That's for agriculture. So it's the opposite. And then I think for meat, we eat the females, right? <sighs> Can you tell me what a ram is, though? I mean, I'm sorry. A goat, a goat. So a lamb is a sheep and a ram is a sheep, but a goat is what? Is he just a goat? Who is he related to? Go ahead. While sheep and goats seem similar and can be mated. Wow. They belong to different genera. Genera in the subfamily. Caprinae of the family Bovidae. There you go. All right, a lot of words there. Sheep belong to the genus Ovis and have 54 chromosomes, while goats belong to the genus Capra and have 60 chromosomes. So they're kind of like the same. It's but same what but happens different. when you when a sheep and a goat mate? They're huh. closely related, but they're in different subfamilies. They call it, if, if they do mate, it's called a hybrid, and it's called an ewe, E-W-E. <laughs> Ooey, no, you see that? A hybrid no. of a ewe oh, a and you? a buck. A ewe. Oh, a ewe. Oh, I thought it was ewe, E-W-E. A hybrid of a ewe. A buck, a male goat. It's called a sheep goat. Wait, a buck is a male goat? So a ram is a male sheep. Okay, a buck. I thought buck hunting. Oh, buck hunting. Male goats. You have the video game, Buck Hunter. I do, but I don't see male goats running around on that. Do I? Uh, Fascinating stuff. We have to figure this out. Literally, I'm not setting off fireworks to commemorate America's birthday until we figure this out. (laughs) (laughs) We need to figure this out. Wow. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, before because we wrote this down. I need to. I did. Yes. Stand up. Yes. For I can't Steve wait. Cohen, the owner of the Mets, Sal, I bombed, and you cannot believe that this has been a babe. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feelings, babe.